Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a little update on Sammy for you. So Sammy is a stray cat. He's been in the house for two weeks now. And as you will see, our live trap is in the room because I am going to have to trap him at the end of the week for his neuter. So he has to go back in the live trap for his safety and the safety of the vet. So once he's in there and he gets to the vet, they're going to sedate him through the bars before they handle him. And then he'll be neutered, he'll be all checked over, he'll get more medications for fleas if needed. So I think my vet said she was going to do advantage. And what else does he get? Oh, all his shots. So his vaccines that he needs. So I have already done revolution once. And I did a dewormer pill. So yeah, he still has some other stuff that he can get. And... I was just going to show you some things in the room. So this is our computer room. Kind of looks like a mess with everything in here now. So he does have a cat tree over here so that he can look out that window. We have a little toy down here that he hasn't played with yet. And someone was asking why was there pee pads everywhere. So when we first brought him in, I was advised um, from the organization that takes in street cats all the time that I should put pee pads down because you don't know what his bathroom habits will be like. So I just went with their advice and so there's cardboard and then pee pads on top. And I also found that the pee pads are actually really good to catch the kitty litter right now since it's not going to be getting vacuumed in here while he's in here. And it's also good so that I could see if there is any parasites or anything f like flea dirt falling off onto the pads or anything concerning. So in his cage, like I'm just keeping it as is, like there's his uh, litter box. He has not used that bed yet. There's a little stool, a little ledge, and then he can come out for his food because I like to encourage him to come out to eat. Uh, one of his favorite areas is this dresser, so I move this dresser in front of this sliding glass door so that he can watch the birds and the animals and the trees. So he jumps up on that little cat tree platform and then up on top of the dresser. And I put a little skid-free pad there so that it's not going to be slippery. Uh, he has a section under the computer that he can go on, but since I put a piece of vet bed, he doesn't want to go on there which that's fine. He seems to not really know what to do with fabrics yet. He has a water bowl there and one in his cage and he can jump on his cage if he likes. So I just have cardboard putting down, put down. And I did clear off a lot of my shelving just cause I wasn't sure what he would do. And you know, sometimes unneutered male cats could spray. So I didn't want anything to happen to stuff on the shelves. Um, over here, it's just like his litter, garbage, some more pee pads, and there is a diffuser plugged in over there. So it's a feel-away diffuser that gives off pheromones that are supposed to help him relax. Um, he does have toys. I don't know if I said over under that cat tree, which again, he has not used yet. And then over here, we have a really nice container. This is a PC container. If you're Canadian, you know what PC brand is. A really nice airtight seal container for his dry food. So that is a canna Bountiful Catch and then I have a canna Pacifica. So those are uh, two different types of fish flavored food that are from Canada. So a canna is a Canadian brand and the ingredients are really nice. So up here we have um, some treats in the same types of containers. These are just the cheap temptations because right now we're doing some treat training to get him to do things. And then in this little thing here are some healthier, like natural ingredient um, treats that have some catnip in them. And I think that's a, about it for his room. He does have an exercise bike. I haven't seen him use it yet. And there's lots of books to read. So Sammy gets neutered soon and I'm really excited because then it's going to be a lot of stress off of my back. I'm really nervous about having to trap him right first thing that morning to get him right to the vet. Even though he walks in his trap because I have been training him with putting treats in there so I know he'll walk right to the back. Still, I just get nervous easy.